okay, this is my second Instagram post, and now I'm totally on my own. So hopefully we're going to figure this out. There's a couple of things that I thought I'd take a minute to talk to you about is one is the Just the Right Book podcast that I've been doing now. I, I don't know, there are over 200 episodes. Uh, are typically interviews with authors, but uh, what we did, what we recorded last week is uh, we got four of us together, I'll tell you who in a second, and we just picked books that we think would be a great idea to give as gifts. I think all of us are struggling, uh, we're not necessarily shopping the same way, or so obviously I think books are like the best thing that we could send, and we've got suggestions that'll be good for everybody on your list, so um, if you check the link, uh, you'll be able to go and listen to that podcast. And speaking of the link, I really want to uh, thank all you. I was hysterical after I posted that Instagram post and asked you to get us up over 10,000. Um, that's what you did. So we're over 10,000. The links are easier um, and it'll make it simpler um, for you and hopefully good for all of us. So check the link for the holiday uh, book, Just the Right Book podcast. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that these are kind of tricky times. The pandemic's revving up and um, it's got us all in, you know, sort of the ground underneath us feels very unstable. And I picked this book up recently by Rebecca Solnit. Um, here's the book. And it's called A Field Guide to Getting Lost. And I don't know if you can see this adequately, but um, I started reading it, and the first uh, essay is about, is called Open Book, and it's about leaving the door open for the unknown. And I don't know if you can tell, I, like every page I have something underlined. And, you know, it feels like there's more unknown than there ever was. And I found myself, it was just the right moment. I opened this book and it was exactly the kind of conversation I wanted to have uh, with the book. So if any of you are in the same mood that I'm in, Rebecca Solnit's A Field Guide to uh, Getting Lost. Next week, um, I'll post another uh, post and what I'll try to have together for you are my top 10 books uh, of 2020. I know we want to get out of 2020 and into 2021, but there are some books we're going to want to take from 2020 and carry them into 21 uh, to read. But what I'd like to do is close with something that um, might resonate with you the way it resonated uh, with me. A friend sent it out in an email uh, the other day, and it's a Mary Oliver poem. I always think Mary Oliver is incredible. Her Thousand Mornings collection is one of my favorite that I reread all the time. So I'm going to read you uh, this poem. It's called I Worried. I worried a lot. Will the garden grow? Will the rivers flow in the right direction? Will the earth turn as it was taught? And if not, how shall I correct it? Was I right? Was I wrong? Will I be forgiven? Can I do better? Will I ever be able to sing? Even the sparrows can do it, and I am, well, hopeless. Is my eyesight fading, or am I just imagining it? Am I going to get rheumatism, lockjaw, dementia? Finally, I saw that worrying had come to nothing and gave it up and took my old body and went into the morning and sang. So thanks very much. This is my second one. I'll keep trying to do this if I can figure it out. Be well.